much for joining me today. I'm going to be guiding you through a practice to help strengthen and stretch your hamstrings and also you get to practice your splits if that's something you might be working on at the moment. So let's begin coming to lie down on your back, extending both your legs and just relaxing for a moment like in Shavasana, separating your feet a bit more than hips width apart and allowing your feet to just relax out to the sides. Rest your arms slightly away from your body with your palms facing up. Begin to breathe gently in and out through your nose. And if you haven't already, gently close your eyes. Just allow your whole body to relax into the floor. Feel any tensions releasing and letting go. Now start to slowly deepen your breathing. As you inhale, expand your belly. And then as you exhale, just relax your belly, allowing it to fall back towards the spine. Again, inhale deeply, expanding your belly, exhaling, allowing your belly to sink back. Taking one more deep breath. And exhale. Gently open your eyes. Slide your feet and your legs together. Flex your feet and reach your arms up and over your head, giving your body a nice long stretch. Stretching your fingers in your hands, pointing your toes, lifting your chest, and then lengthening your spine, pressing your lower back down into the floor engaging your core slightly. Now relax your arms along your sides. Keep your feet flexed, core engaged, and then as you inhale, lift your right leg up, pressing your heel up to the ceiling, keeping it as straight as is comfortable for you. Try to relax your shoulders and your chest. Breathe in, and then as you breathe out, point your toes Maybe straighten your leg even more. Exhaling, flexing your foot. Inhaling, pointing your toes. Exhaling, flexing your foot. Again, inhaling, pointing your toes. Exhaling, flexing your foot. And now keep your core engaged, but interlace your fingers and place your hands behind the right thigh. Breathe in. And then as you breathe out, just gently draw your right leg down towards you, but keep your foot fixed. Your right quadricep engaged. Soften your shoulders. Lengthen the back of your neck. Inhale deeply, flexing both feet, engaging your core. And then as you exhale, lift your head, lift your shoulders, and start to walk your hands higher up your leg maybe to your calf, but not behind your knee, maybe even to your foot, finding a comfortable stretch, taking one more deep breath, and then exhale, slowly release, sliding your hands down your leg, place your arms along your sides, and slowly lower your right leg all the way down. Inhale, lifting your left leg up, flexing your foot, Lengthening your left leg, pressing your lower back down into the floor, softening your shoulders, relaxing muscles of your face. Breathe in and then breathe out. Point your toes up to the ceiling, straightening your leg even more, exhaling, flexing your foot, inhaling, pointing your toes, exhaling, flexing your foot. 
Last one, inhaling, pointing your toes. Exhaling, flexing your foot. Pausing here, engaging your core. Interlace your hands and place your hands just behind the left thigh. Breathe in. As you breathe out, gently draw your left leg towards you. Keeping your shoulders relaxed. Inhale deeply, flexing both feet. And then exhaling, lifting your head and your shoulders up. Engaging your core. And maybe walking your hands a bit higher up your leg. Finding a comfortable stretch. And here you're not really pulling much at all with your hands. You're more engaging your core and really strengthening and lengthening your hamstrings. Breathe in. And then breathe out, slowly release, sliding your hands down your left leg. And then slowly lower your left leg all the way down, keeping your foot flexed, keeping the left leg active. Inhaling, reaching your arms behind you, give yourself a nice long stretch, flexing your feet, pointing your toes. Inhale, reach your arms up, engage your core, Point your toes, and then as you exhale, roll all the way up. Sitting up nice and tall, lengthening your spine. Make your way now onto all fours. Finding your alignment. Placing your hands under your shoulders. Really spreading your fingers wide to protect your wrists. And placing your knees under your hips. Inhale. Really root down with your hands, lengthening your arms. Tuck your right toes under and extend your right leg back. And then really press your right heel back so that you can feel the back of your right leg lengthening, your calf muscles releasing. Take another breath here. And then inhale. This time lifting your right leg up and just keeping it in line with your hip, so you can always have a look at your alignment. And then really scooping your belly in, so that you're lengthening your lower back. Flex your foot. And now we're going to work on strengthening, and also stretching the hamstrings. So as you inhale, bend your right knee, as if you can bring your heel to your glute. And then exhale, extend your leg. Inhaling, bending your knee. Exhaling, extending your leg. Last one, inhaling, bending your knee. Exhaling, extending your leg. And this time, point your toes. Inhaling, just tap your toes down. And then exhale, lift, just keeping your leg in line with your hip. Inhaling, tapping your toes. Exhale, lift, lengthening your leg. Last one, inhale, tap your toes. Exhale, lift, and then just release your right knee down. Coming back onto all fours, finding your alignment. Pressing down firmly with your hands, lengthening your arms. Tuck your left toes under, and then really lengthen your left leg, breathing in. And breathing out, pressing your left heel back. Really pressing with all of your fingers. Rooting down with your hands. Lengthening your left calf. And now inhale. Lift your left leg up. And just keeping it in line with your hip. Scooping your belly in. Flexing your foot. Finding your alignment. Keeping your spine nice and straight. And now inhale, bend your left knee, bring your heel closer to your glute, really squeezing. And then exhale, extend your leg. Inhaling, bending your knee. Exhaling, extending your leg. Again, inhaling, bending your knee. Exhale, extend your leg. And now this time, point your toes, breathe in, tap your toes down. And breathe out, lift, lengthening your leg. Inhaling, tapping your toes. Exhaling, lift. Last one, inhaling, tap your toes. Exhale, lift. 
and then release, making your way into a child's pose, joining your big toes together, opening your knees a bit more than hip width apart, sliding your hands forwards, lengthening your arms, resting your forehead, and just take a few deep breaths here. Just observing however you're feeling in your practice today. If you notice any areas of tension, try to lengthen your exhales. And with each exhale, feel any tensions dissolving away. Inhale deeply, lifting your head, looking at your hands, and rise up again onto all fours. Bring your knees under your hips, this time tucking your toes under. And walk your hands just slightly in front of your shoulders. Continue to spread your fingers and stretch your hands. Lengthen your arms, slightly round your upper back. Draw your belly up and in, engaging your core. Breathe in. And then as you breathe out, just lift your knees a few centimeters off the floor. Feel your thighs, quads warming up. Feel the strength of your legs, strength of your arms. Take a last deep breath. And then as you exhale, extend your legs and lift your hips up and back to downward dog. Pressing your heels down towards the floor. And then just begin to march your feet, bending one knee, extending the other leg, stretching your chest towards the bent knee, lengthening your spine, flowing the movement with your breathing. And then release, coming to stillness. Join your feet together. Inhale deeply, lifting your right leg up and back, three-legged dog, flexing your right foot, squaring your hips forwards, releasing your left heel down towards the floor. Now inhale, bend your right knee, pointing your toes, and then as you exhale, open your hips, pointing your right knee up to the ceiling. And continue to lengthen your left leg. Inhaling, squaring your hips forwards. And then as you exhale, slowly bring your left knee forwards towards your forehead. Engage your core. And then step your foot forwards all the way in between your hands. If it doesn't quite reach, don't worry. You can always use your right hand to step forwards into a low lunge, coming onto your fingertips or maybe onto some blocks. Sinking your hips down, really lengthening your left leg, pressing your left heel back. Inhale deeply. And exhale, feel your hips opening. Lower back. Lengthening. Now breathe in, and this time as you breathe out, start to lift your hips up and back, lengthening your right leg, but try to keep your belly glued to your thigh, so you might not be able to lengthen that leg completely. And then also press your left heel down towards the floor, so you can feel also a really nice stretch in the back of your left leg. Inhaling, bending your right knee, coming back to your lunge, sinking your hips down. Exhaling, lifting your hips up, extending both legs, keeping your belly glued to your thigh. Again, inhaling, bending your knees. Exhaling, lifting your hips up, extending both legs. Inhaling, bending your knees. Gaze forwards, maybe at a point that's not moving, 
slightly bend your left knee, pressing your hips slightly back. And then as you exhale, hop the left foot forwards, crossing your feet and crossing your legs. You might need to use blocks here under your hands or maybe fingertips. As you inhale, extend your spine, extend your legs. And then as you exhale, fold forwards over your legs. Releasing your head down towards the floor. Lengthening the back of your neck. And then breathe in and breathe out, uncrossing your legs. Come into Uttanasana. Inhale to lengthen your spine, maybe placing your hands onto your shins or fingertips to the mat. Exhaling, folding forwards. Inhaling, bending both knees. And then exhale, step back again to downward dog, finding your alignment, joining your feet together. Inhale, lift your left leg up and back, squaring your hips, flexing your left foot, releasing your right heel down towards the floor. And now breathe in, bending your left knee, and then as you exhale, open your hips, pointing your left knee up to the ceiling. And try to keep pressing evenly into both of your hands. And at the same time, pointing your left knee up. And releasing your right heel down, lengthening the back of your right leg. Inhaling. Releasing, squaring your hips forwards, exhaling, bring your left knee towards your forehead, engaging your core, and then step your left foot forwards in between your hands, maybe with the help of your left hand, finding your low lunge. Really lengthen your right leg, pressing your heel back, and then just sink your hips down. Taking a few deep breaths. Maybe noticing how this side feels compared to the other side. Now inhale, lengthen your spine. And then as you exhale, engage your core, lifting your hips up, keeping your belly glued to your left thigh, extending both of your legs to a comfortable stretch and also pressing your right heel down towards the floor. Inhaling, bending your left knee, sinking your hips down. Exhaling, extending your legs, keeping your belly glued to your thigh. Last time, inhaling, bending your knee. Exhaling, extending your legs. Inhaling, bending your knee. Maybe gazing at a point that's not moving to help you find your balance. Slightly bend your right knee, pressing your hips back. And then as you exhale, just hop the right foot forwards, crossing your feet, crossing your legs. Inhale to lengthen your spine and lengthen your legs. And then as you exhale, fold forwards and take a few deep breaths here. Just allow gravity to lengthen your spine. If you notice any tensions, start to send your breath there. And then gently release. Coming back to Uttanasana, inhale to lengthen your spine, rising up halfway, hands to your shins, or maybe fingertips to the mat, exhaling, folding forwards, inhaling, softening your knees, rise up onto your fingertips, and step your right foot back for pyramid pose, 
So your feet don't need to be too widely apart for this one. And then bend into your left knee, rising up with the strength of your legs. Place your hands onto your hips and square your hips forwards with the help of your hands. If it's hard for you to balance here, maybe walk your left foot further over to the left. Lengthen both legs. Lift your chest, breathe in. And then as you breathe out, start to fall forward slowly. And then pause here for a moment, really lengthening both legs, lengthening your spine. Inhale. Exhaling, folding forwards. And if this is too much for you, you can feel free to bend that left knee slightly, or maybe taking a hold of some blocks. Just finding a comfortable position for you today. If you feel very comfortable, maybe relax your hands down and continue to fold forwards, releasing your forehead closer to your left knee, completely relaxing your arms and your shoulders, taking a few deep breaths. Inhaling, gazing forwards, lengthening your spine. And now start to walk your fingertips forwards, floating your right leg up, pointing your toes. And now continue to lift that right leg up as high as you can, pointing your toes. Maybe you stay here, or maybe as you exhale, you fold forwards and continue to lift that right leg up and bring your weight more into your toes and into your hands, lengthening the back of your leg. Feeling the strength of your hamstrings in this active split. Breathe in. And then as you breathe out, bend your right knee and slowly lower your right foot down, coming back into your forward fold. Taking a breath, maybe bending your knees slightly, allowing any tensions to release from your hips, from your lower back, maybe swaying gently from side to side. Inhaling, gazing forwards and rise up again onto your fingertips, this time stepping your left foot back for pyramid pose. Squaring your hips forwards with the help of your hands. And then inhale, rise all the way up, pressing into your feet. Place your hands onto your hips, squaring your hips forwards. Maybe walk your right foot further out to the right so that you feel more balanced. Inhale to lift your chest. Exhaling, folding forwards. And then pause here for a moment, halfway, really lengthening your legs, lengthening your spine, pressing all of your toes into the floor. Inhale, exhaling, folding forwards, maybe lowering onto your fingertips or maybe onto some blocks, staying here. Or maybe as you exhale, continue to fold forwards, softening your shoulders, and releasing your forehead closer to your right knee. Continue to breathe. Taking one more deep breath. Exhaling, gazing forwards, bending into your right knee, walking your fingertips forwards, point your left toes and then just start to float your left foot up, finding your standing split. Continue to lift your left foot up to the ceiling, at the same time lengthening your right leg, 
you can stay here or maybe as you exhale you relax your hands down and continue to fold forwards over your right leg bring your weight more into your right toes and into your hands taking a few deep breaths here inhaling exhaling releasing bending your left knee and lowering your left foot all the way down coming back to Uttanasana for a few deep breaths and again maybe swaying your hips from side to side maybe swaying your head from side to side Inhaling, lengthening your spine, pressing your hands onto your shins or maybe fingertips to the mat and then exhale, fold forwards. Inhaling, bending your knees and exhaling, stepping your right foot back, releasing your right knee down and releasing your toes. And now bring your left fingertips onto the inside of your left foot and walk your left foot out to the left for lizard and start to open your left knee out to the left as well. If it feels good for you, you could also maybe flex your foot and roll onto the outer edge of your foot. That might feel comfortable, or maybe not. It really just depends on your hips. So just do whatever feels good for your body. Take a moment here to just sink your hips forwards and down and allow your left knee to open out to the left. Now inhale, place your right hand down. And then as you exhale, slide your left hand behind your left knee, opening your left knee out to the left and gently turning, gazing over your left shoulder for a gentle twist. You can stay here or if it's comfortable for you, start to flex your right foot, lifting your right foot up and maybe catch a hold of your ankle with your left hand, pulling your foot towards you, feeling the lovely stretch in the front of your right thigh, so us muscles and then at the same time you're pulling your right foot away from you, feeling a lovely opening of your shoulders and your chest. Taking one more deep breath and then exhale, gently release your right foot, come back to centre and start to walk your left foot back to centre so that your foot is in between your hands, come up onto your fingertips or if you'd like for this one you could also use some blocks. Inhaling, lifting your chest lengthening your spine, sinking your hips forwards and down and then as you exhale flex your left toes lengthening your left leg to a comfortable stretch and we'll continue to flow like this inhaling bending your knee lifting your chest lifting your gaze exhaling extending your leg flexing your foot and again, inhaling, bending your knee, exhaling, extending your leg, inhaling, bending your knee, and exhaling, extending your leg. And now pause here, walking your hands, or maybe blocks, back towards you, so that your hands are under your shoulders roughly, keep your foot flexed. Now maybe for today it's enough for you to stay here or maybe as you exhale you start to just gently slide your left foot forwards. Now if you have a sticky mat like I have it's actually quite hard to slide because this is a very grippy mat. So you can slide the left foot forwards and you can also tuck your right toes under and start to gently slide your right foot back and just finding a comfortable stretch. 
Maybe pause here, take a few deep breaths. Have a conversation with your body. And if it feels comfortable for you, you can continue to slide your left foot forwards and sliding your right knee back. Always here and keeping that left leg active, flexing your foot so you're protecting your hamstrings, not overstraining, protecting your lower back with the help of your hands. Taking a few more deep breaths here, maybe feel comfortable to relax your right toes down. Lift your chest, lengthening your spine. If it's ever difficult for you to breathe here, that's a sign that your body is telling you that you've gone too far. So you should just ease back slightly on yourself. And then maybe the next time you'll feel a bit more comfortable to go a bit deeper. Take a last deep breath. And then as you exhale, slowly start to slide your left foot back and coming back into your low lunge. Tucking your right toes under, inhaling, extending your right leg, and then exhaling, hopping your right foot forwards to your forward fold. Now, if you can, take a hold of your big toes with your two piece fingers wrapped around and your thumb on top. In order to do that, you might need to bend your knees, which is absolutely fine. Wherever you are, Breathe in and lengthen your spine, bring your weight into your toes. And then as you exhale, bend your elbows, folding forwards, bringing your belly closer to your thighs. Bring your forehead closer to your knees. And keep shifting your weight more into your toes, feeling your hips lifting up to the ceiling. Just enjoy this inversion for the next few deep breaths. And then gently release, bending your knees, coming to the other side, stepping your left foot back, releasing your knee and releasing your toes, coming into your lizard, Bring your right fingertips on the inside of your right foot and start to walk your right foot out to the right. Turning your toes out to the right, opening your right knee out to the right. Taking a few deep breaths here. Maybe it feels good for your body to flex your foot and roll onto the outer edge of your foot. Inhale, placing your left hand down. And then as you exhale, start to turn slowly to the right, sliding your right hand behind your right knee, gently twisting your spine, gazing over your right shoulder, continuing to open your right knee out to the right. Stay here, or if you're comfortable, Flex your left foot, lifting your left foot, and maybe take a hold of your ankle with your right hand. Gently bring your foot towards you. Lengthening the front of your left thigh, quadricep, psoas muscles. And also pressing your left foot away from you, feeling the opening in your chest and your shoulders. Take a last deep breath here. Exhaling gently, releasing your foot and placing your right hand down. Start to walk back to center, walking your right foot to the middle, rising up onto your fingertips, sinking your hips forwards and down, lifting your chest, breathing in. And as you breathe out, flex your foot and lengthen your right leg to a comfortable stretch. Inhaling, bending your knee, lifting your chest, lifting your gaze. 
exhaling, extending your leg, pressing your hips back. Again, inhaling, bending your knee. And then exhaling, extending your leg. Inhaling, bending your knee. Exhaling, extending your leg, pausing here. Start to walk your fingertips back towards you so that your hands are roughly under your shoulders, lengthening your spine even more. Maybe now you place blocks under your hands. Or if you're comfortable here, start to gently slide your right heel forwards. Or maybe walking your left knee back, tucking your toes, especially if you have a mat like I do, that is not very slidey. Can also be helpful here to wear some fluffy socks or slippery socks to help you when you're practicing for your splits. <laughs> so just take your time, no rush. Keep lifting your chest, lengthening your spine, keeping your hips square forwards. Right foot is flexed, right leg is active. So an active stretch so that you don't overstrain or hurt yourself. Taking a last deep breath and then exhale slowly, sliding your right foot back. Coming back to your low lunge, walking your hands forwards, tucking your left toes under, inhaling, lifting your left knee, extending your left leg, and then exhaling, hopping your left foot forwards to your standing forward fold. Now if you can, and you might need to bend your knees, Slide your hands under your feet. And this also gives a really nice stretch to your wrist. And a nice almost massage to your hands. Inhaling, lengthening your legs, lengthening your spine. And you can also keep your knees bent if you need to. And then as you exhale, just relax your head down towards the floor. Feel the heaviness of your head, lengthening your spine. And continue to shift your weight into your toes so that you can feel your hips lifting up. Spine is completely relaxed. Hamstrings are lengthening. Inhale deeply and then exhale gently release, placing your hands down, bending your knees and just coming to sit with your legs stretched in front of you, flexing your feet, lengthening your spine, lifting your chest. As you inhale, reach your arms up. Imagine you can touch the ceiling with your fingertips. And then exhale, fold forwards. Taking a hold of your calves, ankles or your feet. Inhaling, lengthening your spine up halfway. Lifting your chest. Exhaling, drawing your belly up and in. And folding more deeply over your legs. And now maybe after all of the poses, movements we've been doing, you feel a bit more comfortable, a bit more open now in your forward fold. Wherever you are, continue to breathe deeply. Maybe even close your eyes. Calming neck down now towards the end of your practice.
Inhaling, gazing forwards, reaching your arms forwards, and all the way up, lengthening your spine up. And exhale, release your arms all the way down. Make your way to lying down on your back. And hug your knees down towards your chest. Rocking gently from side to side, giving a lovely massage to your back to your hips and now place your feet down onto the mat and place your right foot just behind your left knee opening your right knee out to the right flexing your right foot and then start to lift your left foot up flexing your left foot drawing your legs down towards you and maybe you can interlace your hands behind the left thigh. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, continue to gently draw your left thigh towards you as you open your right knee out to the right. One more deep breath here into your right hip, right hamstrings, and then exhale, gently release both feet down. And now place your left foot just behind your right knee, opening your left knee out to the left, flexing your foot and lifting your right leg. Flexing your right foot. Maybe you can interlace your hands, placing them behind the right thigh. Inhaling deeply. And exhaling, gently drawing your right thigh further towards you. Keeping your shoulders relaxed. Keeping the back of your neck long. Taking one more deep breath into your left hip, left hamstrings. Exhaling, gently releasing. Hugging both knees towards you one more time. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Now it's time for Shavasana, final relaxation. So maybe you'd like to take a blanket, some warm clothes. When you're ready, lie down on your back, lengthening your legs, placing your feet more than hip width apart, relaxing your feet out to the sides, resting your arms slightly away from your body, with your palms facing up. Slightly tuck your shoulder blades under you. And slide your chin towards your chest, lengthening your neck. Find a comfortable position for your head and neck. Make any last adjustments, movements you need to make. When you're ready, allow yourself to be still. Breathe gently in and out through your nose. And if you haven't already, with your next exhale, softly close your eyes. With each breath, feel your whole body becoming heavier. And heavier. As if your body could melt into the floor. As if your body is taking up more space on your mat.
take a deep breath in. Slowly and gently bring your awareness back into the, your physical body. Gently move your fingers and your toes. And then begin to stretch your body in any way that feels good. Like you're just waking up in the morning. When you're ready, slowly bend one knee and slowly bend the other knee, rolling over to one side, making a pillow with your hands, taking a few deep breaths here. When you're ready, slowly come up with the help of your hands and find a comfortable seated position, maybe sitting cross-legged or on your heels. Lengthen your spine, lift your chest, and join your palms together in front of your heart center. Just take a moment to thank yourself for taking the time to practice yoga today. To be gentle and kind to your body. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you soon. Namaste.